UN agency launches project to assist underprivileged populations with a contribution of approximately 900,000 US dollars from the government of Japan, the International Organization for Migration, or IOM, in Lebanon, has initiated a one-year plan to boost the stability of communities in Beirut, the Bika Valley, and North Governorate. These are places that host large numbers of vulnerable senior citizens, women and children, as well as displaced individuals. Cash for work programs will be implemented for Lebanese and Syrian households in need. Funds will also go toward providing infrastructure, employment opportunities, and enhanced access to medical services. Japan is a shining world leadership awards for compassion, generosity, and animal protection laureate. Many thanks, Government of Japan and IOM, for your kind-hearted support. May historic Lebanon be blessed with resilience and unwavering faith in the loving guidance of the Providence. Scientists establish correlation between rising temperatures and more frequent lightning. Researchers at the University of Washington in the United States and the University of Otago in New Zealand have published a new study on atmospheric electrical discharges in the Arctic. They found that the number of lightning strikes in the region north of 65 degrees latitude increased from about 18,000 in 2010 to more than 150,000 in 2020. During the same period, Arctic temperatures rose 0.3 degrees Celsius. The concern is that warmer summers will bring more intense thunderstorms and lightning, posing a threat to people on the ground and shipping vessels at sea. Our sincere gratitude, university researchers. We pray that humanity will promptly put vegan laws into effect that will prevent the planet from getting any warmer. In the wisdom of heaven. Experimental power plant generates electricity more efficiently. Low temperature waste heat is a common byproduct of many industrial processes and geothermal power plants. Researchers at Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, or KIT, in Germany have been working on better ways to utilize waste heat instead of releasing it into the atmosphere. The fundamental applied science behind their Monica pilot project involves vaporizing a liquid that has a very low boiling point. The KIT scientists have successfully used high molecular mass propane for this purpose. The pressurized vapor turns a turbine for generating electricity before it condenses into a liquid again. Thus far, the system is capable of a 1 megawatt output, which will allow the development of practical applications that can be scaled up. Well done, Karlsruhe researchers. We are very grateful for another sustainable source of power. May heaven guide us to a peaceful future of abundance and satisfaction. Coral Rehabilitation Campaign reports promising results. Two years ago, it was discovered that coral reefs off the coast of Sulawesi, Indonesia were dying. A restoration project was initiated by environmentalists at the Nature Conservancy in partnership with members of the local community. Some hexagonal steel structures called reef stars were positioned on the seabed by divers who joined them together and attached corals to them. This encouraged the rapid recovery of about 40,000 square meters of the reef. Since the start of the program, coral reefs in the area have increased from 5% to 55%. The conservationists are planning to regenerate 185,000 square meters of coral reefs globally by 2029. Our hearts are warmed, the Nature Conservancy and partners, by your laudable efforts and initial success. We pray that the oceans will regain their health and all marine life will once again flourish in celestial splendor. Kind-hearted builder helps people who wear salt shoddy work. Graham Nash of Leeds, United Kingdom, has won the SGS Local Hero Award 2021 for coming to the aid of homeowners who were taken advantage of by unscrupulous contractors. If the building code is not followed or verbal agreements are not honored, clients often have to take down what was done and start over. Mr. Nash has been in construction for 30 years and feels sorry when he sees that innocent people have been cheated, so he does what he can to help them. He has worked for free, rallied, reputable tradesmen to assist and organize fundraising for unfortunate victims. Mr. Nash does not view his service as fixing someone's house. He sees it as mending their life. God bless you, Graham Nash.
For your selfless nobility, may your shining example send ripples of love through society's collective consciousness in elevating divinity. Brooklyn Eatery defies the odds and prospers. Ross Plant Based is an Ethiopian restaurant in New York, USA that opened in March 2020, shortly before the pandemic caused the city to be locked down. But the bistro survived and celebrated its first anniversary this year thanks to the culinary artistry of Romeo and Milka Regali. Their recipes are rooted in ancestral traditions that feature legumes and vegetables seasoned with cardamom, fenugreek, cinnamon, and a special spice mixture known as beriberi. Most meals come served on a large edible flatbread platter instead of individual bowls and plates. The word Raz is a term of reverence bestowed on respected leaders, and it inspires the Regalis to prepare food that is fit for a king. Congratulations to Romeo and Milka and the staff at Raz Plant Based. We are impressed by the good flavors and feelings you bring to the Big Apple or New York City. 10 municipalities installed havens for bees. Environmental administrators in the Apura Valley of Colombia realized that solitary bees do not get the same amount of attention and protection as honey bees. They are nonetheless important pollinators who work hard and need places to rest at night. So the government built wooden shelters containing pieces of bamboo with different diameters suitable for bees of all sizes. The hotels have been distributed throughout the valley, which includes the cities of Barbosa and Medellin. Acrylic panels shield the structures from rainfall, and attendants clean the accommodations during the day. Colombia is a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection recipient and a laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, two Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governance, and a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection. We sincerely appreciate your thoughtfulness, metropolitan area of the Abura Valley. We pray that the kindness you extend to others will be returned to you a thousandfold in the light of the divine.